Prepare yourself, Dancing. I am so freaking happy, guys. The teaser for Dragon Ball Deliverance Episode 4 has finally dropped. I broke the news last week that Deliverance 4 was coming out soon, and today we have the brand new teaser basically giving us what's going to happen next in the story for our heroes on planet Namek, new Namek, Gohan, Gotenks, Piccolo, Pan, and Bola, among others. What is going to happen with them? Are they going to survive? And what is the point of this new organization? What are they after? Let's get to it. Gotenks is back and it looks like he has survived his attack by this nameless organization. He is holding his breath underwater and this is a huge relief to all of us who have been missing him since two episodes ago where he basically got one of the most savage beatings I've seen in any Dragon Ball fan animation. I mean look, lost his eye. This is some gruesome stuff here, so the fact that he's back, the fact that he survived, and the grossness that his eye is all like shut up like that, and like, you know, because he's closing his eyes, the wound in his eyes also is shut. It just is this attention to detail that really makes Dragon Ball Deliverance a cut above the rest. But then we're greeted to vestiges of the past, what happened in the thousands of years before Dragon Ball Z to the Namekian people. Who were they? What were they doing? What led them to this? And who are the Namekian evildoers in this organization? We see death and destruction. We see one Namekian child even holding a book that says insect. So to me, this scene doesn't seem to be taken in the past. It seems like it's something that's going on right now. It could be somebody that the Earthlings have already contacted with. The fact that he's holding a book that says insect on it to me means that maybe Maybe he basically had some contact with Gohan because Gohan does insect research. But this is cut short to what seems to be a great Namekian hero or a great Namekian leader. Somebody who has the full backing of the Namekian race behind him, even going as far as heading toward the Council of Namekians who pleads some sort of case, something that they want to accomplish together. And as soon as I saw the Dragon Balls, as soon as I saw Purunga, I know exactly what's going on here. He's asking the rest of the elders if it is all right to use the Dragon Balls for a certain wish. What this wish is, who knows, but it's something to do with the Namekian people, and I feel like it's something that's going to have huge repercussions in the future of Dragon Ball Deliverance, leading all of us to present day with this evil organization. Now, this is my favorite moment in the trailer, and it almost broke me, guys, almost broke me, but this Namekian warlord looks a lot like basically Dragon Ball Deliverance's version of Slug. And you see him here going through what I can only assume to be either Conquest, Deliverance, just destroying these people. And then one person grabs onto his leg and is basically bleeding out but also crying. So whoever he just killed is near and dear to this poor soul's heart. Could be his family, but I think it's interesting that we get this 
right after the Dragon Ball and, and Poronga reveal because it could either be one or two things. This evildoer is what the consequence of this wish is, or at least he is part of the consequences, or this evildoer is the reason that the hero is trying to go to the council and get the Dragon Balls because maybe he's trying to wish him out of existence. The ending of this trailer is cut in a way where Piccolo seemingly is talking to this nameless warrior. I think Piccolo is the reason that these Namekians are here and the reason they called these warriors here, the Z Fighters, to Planet Namek because they are after Piccolo. What the hell did Piccolo do? I have no idea in this, but this is cut in a way where we're trying to see it that way where they're having a conversation. But no, Piccolo is surprised because of probably getting the revelation of this entire history. And then this guy, it's cut because whatever he wished for is a bad wish. It has had steep and direct consequences to what is happening in present day in Deliverance. This is going to be a 45 minute episode and it's going to be so packed to the brim with new Dragon Ball Deliverance lore. And it's all Namekian stuff too, which is something that I've always wanted to see. I wanted to see further into. I can't wait for the actual episode to drop. I'm going to be there. I hope to see you guys there as well. Subscribe for more content. Oh, perish. Oh, perish.